Hello and welcome back to Tea with Tracy. Come and see you live every Tuesday at 12, spilling relevant tips, trends, and talk in all things real estate and home ownership related. Well, we just finished up our local election series and had elections last week. Hopefully you were able to get out and make your voice heard. Today we're going to be doing a, a one episode here. It's not going to be part of a series. I have Jenny Miller with Ross Mortgage on to join us today, and we're going to be giving you all a market update. I know that there is a, there's a lot of questions every time I'm out. I get asked what's happening with the, with the market, so Jenny and I are going to talk about that today. Without further ado, let's get Jenny on to join us. Hey, Jenny. There you are. <laughs> How are you today? Hi, can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you. Yes. So, all right. Well, thanks for joining us. I know uh, you and I were getting lots of questions as to what's going on with the market. How are things looking? Um, I know uh, every time I go to pickleball, people ask me what's going on with real estate. And um, so we just wanted to pop on today and just give everybody, you know, a little status of where things at are at and why it's still a great time to buy or sell in real estate. Absolutely. And, you know, when I get the question, you know, what's happening with mortgages is it a good time to buy. It's always, well, are you a buyer, a seller, an investor? Right. You know, at, at what, how are you coming, you know, to me with this question. So, um, you know, market conditions are never perfect. And this year has been, um, you know, undoubtedly a bit of a ride, right? Yeah. Um, oh, especially yeah. <laughs> when we've seen rates, you know, essentially double. You know, the thing is, we are actually normalizing. Absolutely. You know, our market is yes. normalized. And, you know, people such as yourself, uh, me, I've been at Ross for 19 years now. When you've been in the industry for a very long time, we've seen these cycles, right? Mm -hmm. We've seen like, you know, the ebbs and the flows and what have you. Yes. So for folks who have really, um, you know, purchased in the last, you know, two, three years, to them, that's their normal. So this is like insane. Right, right. right? Yeah. And and to, to us, that was insane. What we, <laughs> what we just came out of, that was definitely not normal. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. So, you know, is it a good time to buy? Um, it's a good time to buy when it makes sense, you know, for you. Right. You know, every person's situation is a little bit different. Um, you know, like I said, market conditions are never ideal. Sometimes it's rate related. Sometimes home, you know, values, are they, you know, up? Where are we at there? It's also timing. Right. If you have a lease that's happening. You know, some people, right. um, unfortunately, they're getting divorced. They, they need to move. They have to sell a house. Right. So really the best thing you can do in any in any market is to prepare yourself. Yes. Right? Yes. Yes. Um, it's to get yourself pre-approved. Is your credit where it needs to be? Do you have funds for a down payment? Are you eligible for a program that doesn't require a down payment? You know, those are things that we can help mm -hmm. educate you. Right? Yes. And so that you yourself know moving forward um can you take advantage of the positives because this market does hold some positives um what are you seeing in terms of yeah a positive that you could share oh yeah as far as you know from a from a buyer standpoint the positives are i mean you actually have time to get into the property to take a look at it and uh you know you can probably get a showing that's longer than just 15 or 30 minutes like actually have time to to get into the property, to absorb it, to feel it, and not feel mm -hmm. like you have to get in the day it comes on the market, see it for 15 minutes, and then write an offer that is, you know, well above the list price. So that's just one, but there's, there's, yeah. I, I mean, there's, there's many reasons um, from, from both perspectives, but, you know, today we're focusing a little more on buyers. And, you know, another thing is what was happening a lot, which I never advised any of my buyers to do this, I just don't agree with it, but there were a lot of home inspections that were waived, um, you know, during the last couple of years, just so that a buyer would look more competitive. Um, you know, so you're essentially going in blind, you know, you're, you're, you're purchasing something and you don't necessarily know, um, again, being informed, it might not be something that's going to prevent you from moving forward with the home, 
But mm-hmm. if it's going to need, you know, a new furnace or a roof or something within the next five years, that would be an important piece to know so you can plan for that for down the road. So um, being able to get, you know, informed decisions, informed, inf- you know, information to make those informed decisions, that's definitely a huge plus. Um, and and I would yeah. totally agree with you on that. And those are excellent points. And those are definitely, as an agent, right, those are things mm-hmm. that you had worked with your buyers to, to explain to them, you know, why it was important to waive those really, really important yeah, things. No, no, I right. would never, I, me personally, I never suggested that. If, if you know, if they wanted to, that was, uh, you know, their choice. But I, I didn't have any clients, actually. We, we were able to still win without waiving inspections. But... <laughs> But there was a lot of that going on, and it's you know, it's it's just not in in a buyer's best interest. So right, and like right now too, I think with inventory, um, you know, they define a seller's market what as you get enough inventory for six months, right? Six months supply of homes, but with more homes hitting the market because the buyer pools have shrunk, mm-hmm. people who are looking right now tend to have more choice. When you right. say they've got. Well, yeah. So if we if we want to also look at this from a seller perspective, there were a lot of people that, you know, wanted to make a move, needed to make a move, but were afraid to because they didn't want to put their home on the market, you know, thinking they're not going to be able to secure something on the other side. In a normal market, a seller would put their home on the market, you know, almost concurrent with starting to look for the next home and you, you make the timing work out so that they can sell their home and then purchase and move into the new home. Well, that wasn't happening. You know, we had all of these crazy occupancy timeframes. And so we're starting to see, you know, sellers have a little more confidence that there will be the next home out there, which allows them to then put their home on the market, which, you know, brings more inventory to the market. So, um, yeah, so that's definitely, definitely positive and, and nice to have a little more balance again it's it's good for both sides so yeah i would totally agree and like you said um the you know having inspections having time you know you could spend in the house maybe more than one showing potentially um those are all great things it's a big decision and it's not necessarily that one needs to be made you know quickly yes same thing too when it comes to mortgages rates payments um you know, right now, if if you buy a home and rates stay the same, it's kind of like you win. Right. You buy right now, if rates go up from where they're at right now, you win. Now, the other side is if rates go down, and here's the key. When you hear somebody say, you can just refi. Well, if rates go down and you are able to refinance, mm-hmm. right, you have enough equity in your home, your credit score, right. you know, different things have changed, and rates go down and you're able to refinance, again, you win. Mm-hmm. You're right. You know? Yeah. Um, like I said, there's no perfect timing in the market. We all can't go back in time. Right. And, you know, yeah. should have. <laughs> but right now, if, if, it, if buying makes sense, you have a lease that's about to, to you know, be up. Or right. if you've got a job in a certain area and, you know, you're going to be living, you need to change locations. Right. Um, people have to do what's right for them and what makes sense for them. Absolutely. Not what their uncles, brothers, cousins, niece told them to do. <laughs> right. And that's, you know, it's something that I always, you know, it comes down to when I'm working with buyers is, um, you know, it's where do you want to be or where do you need to be? Um, you know, so that is, you know, that stands true in this market as well. If you need to be somewhere else or you want to be somewhere else, you can make a move right now. It, you know, if it works out for you, you know, if you're, again, your credit and all of those things line up, but that's why we always recommend getting those things checked well before you're, you know, you're ready to actually take action. Um, you know, get yourself positioned so that you have the best possible outcome. So, yep. Yeah. I, I, I know I like, you might need to change school districts or, you know, there's a lot of different reasons. So um, because we have a lot of open districts, but now with people going back to work, they might not have the flexibility to work from home and drive their kids, you know, outside of the school district. So, you know, having the busing and being, you know, being within district, that is helpful as well. Exactly. So. And with mortgage programs, like I said, there's 
there's quite a few for first time home buyers or loan down payment requirements. Um, there's something called a two one, um, you know, a buy down, a rate buy down, um, where the, the interest rates actually reduce by two full percentage points for the first year, um, one full percentage point for the second year. Um, that's yeah. something that's very intriguing to borrowers because it does provide some temporary relief, but again, it is right. the right act only for the right buyer. Right. Yep. Right. And you know, I think most of us, when we first purchase our homes, um, we tend to stretch a little bit generally, um, you know, but then you start to get into the payment and comfortable with it. So I can see for some, you know, that lower interest rate for the first couple of years really being a benefit while you have some time to, to adjust and get ready for, for what the full payment will be. So exactly. So there are options out there, but you know, in order for anyone to know if it's the right time for them, it really does involve getting pre-approved for a mortgage, mm -hmm. seeing what your options are. Is there yeah. anything that could be done to improve, you know, your situation to maybe um, provide you better um, range of product offerings and things like that? There's no cost to do it. Right. Right. Um, right. Tax, tax refund time is right around the corner. Yeah. It's always been helpful for people um, in terms of helping them, you know, get some funds toward their home purchase. Yes. And then, being able to hand them off, you know, to an experienced agent such yes. as yourself, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> to get them look. So, um, I, you know, I would say that the time is always right when it's your time to buy. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, well, I, unless you had something else, that's really what, uh, what I had as far as just, you know, giving a market update and just letting everybody know, um, you know, this is, this is normal. What, what we're heading into, this is, you know, those of us who have been around, we're not afraid. We're not worried about no, you know, nothing's going to come crashing down. We're just heading into a normal market. So, um, you know, homes that are on the market for, you know, a week or two, that's actually, that's, that's normal. <laughs> you know, that's, that's normal. It's okay. It is right? okay. It is okay. Yes. Okay. So. <laughs> well, thanks so. for having Tracy. Yes. Thank you for joining me, Jenny. Thank you all for tuning in, whether live or on the replay. We're going to take a break next week for Thanksgiving. So I want to wish everybody um, a very happy Thanksgiving. Hopefully you get to spend it with your family and friends and, or those who are special to you. Have a, a nice day off, week off, and uh, we'll see you all the following week. Thanks so much. Thanks. Bye. -bye.